Hello and welcome to Wandering Sword. This is a Chinese martial arts RPG and you play as a young swordsman that was left for dead in a, uh, well, ambush of sorts. I've, I'm starting a little bit further into the game than you would otherwise be starting if you clicked new game. But I thought, hey, you know what? You should really pick up this game. This is absolutely fantastic, has an epic story to it, and you're going to be able to perform all kinds of crazy martial arts maneuvers. And this video is kindly sponsored by Spiral Up Games. If you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. And as I said, I personally really love this. I don't know why you can really just tell the quality of the sprites themselves. The animation quality alone is extremely impressive. Anyway, we're currently here at um, a, a guy that we've basically just met's house and he's taking care of us because we are uh, in a, a severely weakened, debilitated state. We have actually been poisoned and there has been a little bit of uh, medicinal, mm, I wouldn't say magic, so to speak, but they have definitely helped us. There was a master of the martial arts that actually helped us to, to stop us from just dying outright. So anyway, this is the daughter of the uh, other master who has now taken us in. And um, he made her cry just now by basically... Um, because our character gave her something uh, as a gift, basically like um, a piece of food, I believe it was, and the uh, the father destroyed the food. So obviously she's now run off and she's not um, not particularly very happy about that. My sword, my sword, she says. Found her. That's the sound of her weeping. Something must have happened. I gotta go check it out. And there, yes, exactly. We will exactly do that. There we go. Let's head on in and see what she has to say. What happened, Xiao Tong? The wooden sword daddy gave me. Wooden sword? What about it? The monkeys took it away. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get a, a bit of an idea as to how to actually fight in the game, because they do give you a small tutorial in the early stages of the game, but they have you controlling a different character, and, uh, well, that character is very strong, let's just say that. Anyway, Daddy gave it to me for my birthday. He made it himself. What? Those damned monkeys. Don't worry, Xiao Tong. I'll get it back for you. All right. Well, I, I, I'll try. <laughs> uh, but your poison has not been cleared yet. How about you invite me to your party? We'll take back my wooden sword together. So as I say, this is very much a uh, an RPG, epic RPG of, um, you know, taking people into your party. It's turn-based combat, but in a very fluid sense. Anyway, approach the NPC and select observe. A character's affinity with you is displayed under their name, as you can see. She's got 60 affinity with us right now. You can invite a character to your party if their affinity with you, with you reaches 60. Some characters cannot be invited at any affinity. So we're just going to invite her right now. Great, now I can fight with you. Let's go and teach those stinky monkeys a lesson. All right, and that is exactly what we'll do. So as you can see, she actually follows us around in the game world itself. So she doesn't just disappear into our character model or anything like that. Anyway, monkeys, give Xiao Tong her wooden sword back. Squeak, squeak, they said. Squeakity, squeakin'. Squeak, squeak. Squeaker. <laughs> uh, if you get that reference, then all props to you. Anyway, acting all tough now, huh? Guess when the tiger's away, the monkeys will play. Very well, looks like we don't have a choice. And we're going into battle. Here we go. So this is, as I said, the way that battles are done in the game. So you can see here, the blue determines how far we can move. And then you have uh, normal, special, mighty, unique, lightness, and cultivation moves. Yeah, if you, if you got overwhelmed by that, don't worry. You're going to obviously get a crash course in what kind of abilities you're going to get. And there's a huge variety of them. So don't worry either. Anyway, let's move over here and see if we can do a normal attack. This is going to be our basic palm technique. 
and we're going to be attacking with it. There we go, 72 damage from it. And by the way, I don't know whether you've noticed, but the combat system is based not on turns, but more on energy. So for example, you can see here all the monkeys are going to probably attack before my next character can attack, but that's absolutely fine because we then have the ability to uh, do that afterwards. Uh, she also has a health care ability, as you can see right here, which is going to allow us to restore 350 HP. So even if we do take significant damage, we should be completely fine. I don't think there's going to be any issue there. All right, here we go. Mad Monkey Fist. Yeah, and there's some very cool abilities to be seen here as well. And you can see that we're probably going to need her health care proficiencies in just a second. I'm going to do an attack here take out this monkey and then maybe we'll be able to take out one of the others there we go oh almost almost a kill right there okay yeah so we're going to need to use healthcare on our main character there and now, now he's back to full hp and now we should be able to survive the next barrage of attacks all right let's just take out this one there we go we're just dramatically reducing the amount of damage that we are going to take as a result of that and she can actually attack as well technically so that's exactly what we're going to do we're just going to have her finish off the monkey at the end there and there we have it okay so we're going to gain martial points which i assume is experience as i say this is the first time i'm actually going into a real battle one that isn't a part of the, the you know main prologue and we're also gaining some uh gaining some loot here which is hides not sure if there's a crafting system i think there might be a crafting system if there is then that's absolutely fantastic if there isn't well i don't really mind because we can just sell those hides for a lot of money anyway oh no the monkeys ran away it's fine look Zhaotong. wow my wooden sword thank you so much yi ha huh, you're welcome i'm glad to see you smile again well, now that you're not mad anymore, how about going back home with me? Not gonna happen. All Daddy does is yell at me. He didn't even come find me. That's not true. It was Master Jiang who asked me to find you. He's worried about you. Really? Hmm. All right. I'll go back with you then. Good girl. All right. So we're going to go back there and we're going to see what Mr. Grumpus has to say. Because he was a bit grumpy when we first saw him. He's not particularly pleased about having to look after us. So that's the main reason why he actually did what he did with his daughter here. Anyway. Master Zhang, I have brought Zhao Tong back. Daddy. Hmm. Didn't you say you would never come back? Master Zhang. <laughs> I know you want me back. Yi told me everything. And now she's left our party. Sad. <laughs> Sad. She's, she's a really good healer. Okay. Uh, you see, now there's a bit of an uncomfortable silence. Mm hmm. So how do you feel after some stretching? Well, now that you mention it, after fighting those monkeys, my chi and blood flow feels much smoother now. Looks like the effect is kicking in. Now you're ready for the next step. Take this book. Oh, which book is that? Is it a book on how to be an absolute maniacal master of martial arts? Yes, I couldn't actually come up with the words fast enough. So that's why you heard a lot of... Mm, yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, anyway. Use it to learn the basic cultivation method. Very nice. This is a cultivation method manual. It is. You'll need to make your chi flow to expel the poison. But so far, you only know some trivial tricks and have no real martial arts foundation. Oh yes, by the way, you should also know that this is the demo version of Wandering Sword. And eventually, I'm going to assume at least, according to the options menu, they are going to have fully voiced characters. So just bear that in mind. I'm currently just narrating it because there are none at the moment, but they will be in the... Uh, in the final version or in the version that is going to be coming up that isn't the demo. Anyway, you'll need to make your chi flow and so on and so forth. Let's do it. So now, practice this basic cultivation method. What are you waiting for? Cross your legs, calm your mind, and concentrate. Yes, Master Jiang. Alright, so let's do it. Let's see if we gain a new ability. I mean, if we literally gain a new ability from this, I'm going to be extremely, extremely pleased. There we go, we learned a new thing. I'm not sure what it does, but we'll see. Hmm, so this is what it feels like to have chi running through the body. So warm. Whoa, you're so talented, Yi. You've learned it in like a second. <laughs> is that so? 
Hmm, you are indeed talented, but don't think you've got it all. Your internal energy is not enough to expel the poison. You've got to upgrade the cultivation method. When you fight or spar with people, you earn martial points. Using martial points to upgrade your martial arts skills can make you more powerful. You should have already earned some martial points from fighting the monkeys. Now open martial points and try to upgrade your basic cultivation method with your martial points. Sure. Okay, we will try to do exactly that. Here we go. Current martial points, we have 14 of them. Don't know how much we're going to need to actually be able to do that, but you can see here, the more party members deployed, the fewer martial points each member earns. In other words, there is obviously a set amount of martial points per battle, dependent on the amount of enemies, of course, I'd assume. And if you take... Uh, I don't know, let's say that you take two people instead of taking four people, you're going to earn double the, the martial points, I'm going to expect. Um, but yeah, so that's obviously going to be something to bear in mind. Anyway, so what does this actually do? This restores mana by 15%, right? Yeah, no, no, actually, wait, increases max HP. Yeah, I guess it increases max HP and so on and so forth. Every level increases meridian points. Okay, grants meridian points based on the quality of the cultivation method. Spend meridian points to strike acupoints and greatly improve your stats. Select upgrade to increase it. Okay, yeah, we'll do exactly that. There we go. Yes, that's it. For the next few days, you should try to master the cultivation method and familiarize yourself with how it works. Got it. Thank you, Master Zhang. All right, well, I, I guess. <laughs> I hope. Wait, Yi, I'm coming with you. No, you're staying home. Even mere monkeys managed to bully you. Did you slack off when I told you to practice the five immortals sorcery? I did not. You've taught me only once. I haven't had the chance to fully master it. Then I will teach you again. But this is not the move you normally use. Daddy, is this from Mommy? Daddy, Daddy, where is Mommy? Why hasn't she come back? Your mother, she... What are you still doing here? Go practice martial arts. Yes, I, I mean, of course. Right on my way. <laughs> that was awkward. We should have gotten out of there way before. Anyway, be good, Shao Tong. Your mother will be back soon. Let me teach you the five immortal sorcery again. Turn the five immortals into goo and drive them with your mind. The five elements generate each other. All right, and we are meditating on the clifftop. And you, you, I, that's the thing. I just wanted to bring to your attention the animation quality as well. I, I don't know what it is, but if, for some reason, there have been some amazing pixel art games coming out. And this is literally one of the best, if not the best, that I have seen in terms of its animation quality. And that really says a lot. Because you're going to get drawn into this world. You're going to get drawn into the story and actually what has transpired because as i said to you before at the very beginning you are ambushed alongside your friends and family and you're basically the only one left alive and you then get saved by this master of the martial arts and brought to this place and that's what happens and that's where i mean i'm basically just cutting it down into you know 10 seconds worth but there's a lot more that goes on there and there's a big overarching thing that's happening. So anyway, it took me almost a month. I finally mastered this cultivation method. According to Master Zhang, I should be ready for detoxifying. Well, that's that's gonna take a that's gonna take a lot of energy to do that. Time flies. I've been living in this village for weeks. Didn't expect so much to happen this time. Were it not for Master Ching Zhu, I would have died in the Valley of Dragons slumber. See, that's the uh, that's the place where we were ambushed. And there's all the people that uh, actually perished at the same time. Rest in peace. As for Tianlong Gang and that damned Chen Wu, I will make them pay one day. You make them pay? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Tianlong Gong members are all over the Outer Lands, though they have suffered some losses from Shun Hao cult in recent years. You certainly stand no chance against them. And by the way, my pronunciation of all of these names is going to be absolutely terrible, but I'm trying my best. Because as you may know from my other videos, 
I'm always terrible at pronunciation, but hopefully I'm going to be yeah, okay at this. Who knows? But you know me. Anyway, Master Zhang, what brings you here? Apparently drinking. <laughs> Do you forget this is my house, kid? What? Thinking about the people of your caravan again? Yes. I've been thinking. What if I had been more cautious? Perhaps Zhao Zhang, Ehu, and Chu Hie wouldn't have... Hmm. So what if you had been more cautious? Kill or be killed? That's how it works in this world. I am so useless. If only I learned a powerful move or two from Master Ching Zhu, or you, I would have been able to protect everyone. Heh. <laughs> Say you learned a move or two, then what? Even Ching Shu couldn't save them, let alone you. But what if... What if I can keep practicing martial arts until I'm better than Master Ching Shu, better than you? Heck, even maybe even better than anyone else out there. Would I be able to protect the people dear to me and take my revenge by then? You can't protect everyone all the time. It's not a matter of martial arts. Alright, don't think too much, young man. You're still poisoned with frost venom. Focus on staying alive first. You can't avenge anyone if you're dead. You're right, Master Zhang. I was being impatient. Okay, now that you have mastered the cultivation method, go to bed early tonight. We will start dealing with the poison in your body tomorrow. Got it. Thank you, Master Zhang. Alright, so he's obviously uh, a bit of a cantankerous, grumpy, grumpy fellow. But he's actually nice, because he's helping us a great deal. And now we can see what happens in the next day. Ah, it's so cold. He, ye, you got up later than I did today. It's rare. Ha, <laughs> you got me. I... What's wrong, Yi? I'm alright. I uh, just feel a little bit cold. Ah, could it be the frost venom kicking in again? Daddy, Daddy, is you gonna be alright? The intoxicant pendant can only suppress the frost venom temporarily. It's been a while since he put it on, and the suppression is at its limit. It's illogical that he's starting to feel cold. Ah, then do something, Daddy. Don't worry, I was going to start the final preparation for detoxification and activate his meridians today anyway. Listen carefully, kid. Your internal energy, which increases as you learn cultivation methods, flows in the meridian acupoints in your body. The meridian points you earn by upgrading cultivation methods can be used to strike meridian acupoints until the meridian is fully activated. You have earned some meridian points by activating the method before. Now open meridian and try to strike an acupoint with your meridian points. <laughs> oh my, very complicated. Oh dear. Alright, select the meridian icon. Okay, let's try it out. So we have 20 of these so far. And they can be earned by learning or upgrading cultivation methods. And as you can see, we have our chi flow right here. Select the meridian map. And grayed out acupoints are locked. Strike the previous acupoints to level 3 to unlock them. Okay, so we get, we're get we going to gain some strength here. Switch to the previous map. Switch to the next map. Okay, select an acupoint and then hit strike. Well done. That way, your body is ready for detoxifying. Now you just need to collect the three items. Three items? Yes, and you have to collect them all by yourself. Of course. So which three items are they? The first one is, of course, a medicinal herb. Go to Sun, the physician, at the foot of the mountain and get two medicinal herbs. Bai Ji and Ban Bian La Lian. Oh, I'm terrible, I'm sorry. I I'll tell you what to do next when you get them. Okay, on my way. Alright, so we need three items. You'd think that in all these, all these weeks he would have gone to go and get them, right? Nah. Nah, it's, it's, it's going to be a test of some kind, isn't it? Okay, so we have this which we've already learned, and we also have the hides, which we, well, we can't really do much about that just yet, but you can see here the absolutely incredible area as well, having massive amounts of extremely beautiful environments to explore, and I'm actually wondering where I even need to go. I mean, the foot of the mountain, of course. Ah, yes, the cave looks deep and gloomy. Better not wander in carelessly. In other words, don't go in there just yet, but maybe sometime in the future I might actually be able to, you know? Anyway, let's have a look. Is this the guy? No, that's Zhang the Woodsman. I can actually take some cloth 
shoes though. Did I actually... Wait a minute. Did I loot those? Did I actually loot those? Because as far as I'm aware, I didn't actually see whether I looted those or not. Let me see. Yeah, no, I did actually loot those. That's hilarious. Okay, so wait a minute. Can I equip them? Yes, I can. There you go. So I've now equipped those. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I just wonder whether I stole that guy's shoes now. I feel bad. Okay, I feel bad. Uh, Mr. Lee, no. I need to go. There he is. Okay, there's the fellow. And we can now buy herbs. So let's trade with him. And which herbs do I need to buy? Uh, I'm going to assume this right mm. i'm actually not entirely sure i'm gonna I, insufficient coins okay i have no coins but i can actually sell some stuff technically so i could sell some of this uh yeah i i guess i could i could sell the iron ore i suppose i mean how many should i sell i can sell four of them and there you go, we got 200 coins, and I already have one of these, so I'm actually not entirely sure. What do I need to do? Detoxifying item herb. I guess I can just chat with him. Yeah, maybe chatting with him is going to be the thing that I need to do rather than trading. Anyway, aren't you the young man staying with Master Zhang? What brings you here? Is Master Zhang having a relapse? No, he's fine. I'm here to buy some medicinal herbs. I want one of these and one of these, please. Well, I have a lot of Bai Shi, take some if you need to, but I've run out of the other one since last month and I haven't got any in stock. However, it's, uh, it's not exactly a rare item. It's just that I'm getting old and it's getting harder for me to collect herbs. Don't worry, Mr. Sun, just tell me where to find it and I'll go get some for you. That would be great, it grows near the river up ahead. However, there's a special method you need to utilize. You have to get close to the glowing uh, glowing ones in order to collect them. I see. Well, how many do you need? Just bring me five. That will last me a while. All right, I'm on it. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I didn't even need to go into the trade screen. So me selling the ore was probably not even the best idea, but I, I think it's fine, right? Okay, so don't leave the village. And instead, I need to go over to the... Um, to the river. Oh, okay. I can't go that way. I'm going to need to go over here instead. You can actually hold shift to sprint or to move a little bit faster. So as you can see, we can pick up a bunch of these, which is exactly what I need. And thankfully, this doesn't actually reduce my stamina or anything like that. And we're going to be able to do that very, very quickly. There we go. That was so nice and easy. Love that. Didn't have to travel far at all. Very nice. Yes, I have it. Hmm, well done, young man. I'll keep four, and this is the other that we talked about. Please take them. Also, here are some liniments for you. If you're willing to collect herbs for me in the future, you will also be rewarded. No, oh, thank you, Mr. Sun. Have a good day. All right, so we have some ointment here, and we have some of that. That is wonderful. And now we can bring the herbs back to Master Jiang. And then he's going to hopefully allow us to detoxify ourselves, or at the very least, he's going to help us to detoxify ourselves. And I'm actually wondering whether there's anything else around here and whether I should actually run around and see. Because we've got collecting experience as well, so I'm going to assume that there is indeed a skill that you can use. And actually, you know what? I kind of want to show you all of the various things that you have available here. So for example, you have all the different statistics. You have strength, constitution, agility, and internal power. You have various abilities that you're going to be able to train in as well. So for example, at the moment, you you only have one life skill. I mean, you know, obviously collecting, but I'm going to assume that you're going to have more of this later on down the line. Sword, saber, fist weapon, polearm, and hidden weapon. All of those are the weapons that I currently have available. Not sure if we're going to have any uh, any others in the future, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Otherwise, we have not, as I said to you before, we have normal moves, special moves, mighty moves, unique moves, lightness skills, and cultivation methods. And you also have all of these different moves with different... Um, different weapon types so <laughs> you can imagine how many different things you're actually going to be able to utilize here then obviously you've got your quest window and then you have your meridian map here and then obviously you have your you know 
wonderful game menu which is just going to allow you to access everything that you'd need and otherwise let's go on in and see okay wait a minute where's where's he gone hope the poison in your body will be gone soon okay wait a minute where's where, where's uh where's where's the where's the guy where did he go oh fish scale armor oh wow no, oh that's nice okay we got some armor very very good okay where's he gone now, now I have no idea where he's gone. Am I an imbecile? Yes. Ah, there he is. Okay. Fantastic. Master Zhang, I have it. I have the herbs. Show me. Alright, there we go. Good. These are exactly the two herbs I asked for. We've got the first item, and now get ready for the second. What is the second item, and where can I find it? The second item is easy. Get me two jars of Gaoliang liquor from the inn. That's right. Oh, uh, the liquor. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be... Uh, surely that's going to be super easy. Although, to be fair, we... <laughs> we probably need to do some kind of... Uh, maybe there's going to be like a bar brawl or something like that. Or maybe we have to do a quest for it. Who knows? Daddy, you're drinking that again? Mrs. Zhao has been saying all you do is goof around all day. Hmm. Talking uh, behind one's back? Don't you ever speak to her again. What? Everyone in the village knows that you drink jars of liquor every night? Of course they'll talk about it. What do you know? Have you practiced martial arts today? Ah, oh, Daddy. <clears throat> uh, Master Zhang, uh, drinking too much is indeed not good for your health. Hey, kiddo, I can tell you're taking Zhao Tong's side again. Don't you spoil her, you heard me? Alright, stop standing here like an idiot. Just go get the liquor from the inn. Alright guess we'll do that then. I guess we'll do that. I, I don't know why you didn't just tell us to do that beforehand, but it's absolutely fine anyway, because I have now activated fast mode. And that means that we can go over there very, very easily and quickly. And here we go. Oh, sorry, we're out of liquor. How about something else? Uh, Master Zhang asked for this specific liquor. If I get something else, he's not going to like it. Could you help me out here? Oh, so it's Master Zhang who wants it. In that case, I'll be straight with you. We actually had some Gaoliang liquor in stock. But Wei Huo, who lives by the village entrance, bought 20 jars yesterday for some reason. That's why we're out of stock now. I'm going to assume that they have a feud going on. What do you bet? There may be a way, though. Everyone knows that Wei Huo likes to spar with people. If you're confident in yourself, have a go at it. Aha! All right, he's a solitary man as well. You have to get on well with him before he'll spar with you. Uh, okay, okay. Ooh, these guys are ruffians right here. What, what do you bet? They're like mercenaries or something like that. Yeah, look at that. Grey condor of the 13 condors. Stop wasting my time or I'll smash this place up. Sir, my apologies. Go serve the gentlemen their food now. Yes, of course, right away. Oh, yes, they, they, they're, okay, well, I think these guys are going to cause trouble. These guys are going to cause trouble. I've seen, I've seen enough of this. I've seen enough of, of these kinds of people to know. Surely they're going to be causing some issues. Are you sure about this? You're free to go if you're scared. What do you mean? <laughs> we share a common goal. There is no need for infighting. He and his wife killed a lot of our people in the battle that year, but the woman is long dead, and he can't do much by himself. They're talking about Master Zhang, I, I assume. Besides, we've got him trapped in every corner this time. He will not escape. Once the others arrive, we can... Heh, <laughs> you're right, Grey Condor, but wolves have ears. Let's just drink for now. Heh, <laughs> yep, cheers! All right, so yeah, as I as I said, they're troublemakers. They want to try and probably kill Master Zhang. If only we'd stayed in there a little bit longer. Okay, it should, okay, yeah, these guys are obviously coming to uh, meet with those fellows inside. Is Condor School's intel reliable? How come we end up in the middle of some shithole? We'll know when we get in there. The others may have already arrived. Hurry up, we can't risk any delays. Let's go then. All right, hey, you over there, get out of our way. I decided to add a voice to him midway. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. A wise man knows when to retreat. All right, so yeah, we're not going to get... Uh, we're not going to interfere. We're not going to intercept them at all. Strange. How come there are so many people coming to the village all of a sudden? Better stay out of trouble. I should find the uh, solitary fellow by the village entrance and see if he'll sell me any liquor. Well, it's not going to be a selling situation, that's for sure. I'm going to assume 
that uh, there's going to be some sparring going on. What do you think? Check out my fish basket, kid. There's nothing in it but fish. What's the trick to it? Whoa, there is really a lot of fish in it. What's your secret? Heh. <laughs> Are you trying to suss out my trick to fishing, kid? Well, I'm in a good mood today. I may as well tell you. Alright, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's fishing in this game? Oh yeah, I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know that there was fishing in this game. I love it, okay. I'm a huge sucker for fishing in basically any game, so I'm, yeah, very much loving that. Approach the light cluster and select fish to start fishing. After the rod is cast, certain stamina is consumed to start fishing. And you can leave at any time. You can check the fish pond level, the species of fish, and their drop rates on the right. When something happens to the bobber, select reel back within the time limit to get the fish. You will get nothing if you fail to reel back before the time limit is over. Okay. I missed a few fish while I was talking to you. Ah, oh, thanks very much, sir. Okay, so we're going to cast the rod and we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I'm not entirely sure. Is that actually... There we go. Okay, I did it. Nice. We actually got it. Okay, that's so incredibly cool. And that is indeed giving me fishing experience. Which is exactly what we need. Yes, we need that. Because then we're going to be able to fish in more advanced locations later on down the line. And I am going to be extremely excited to do that. And there we go. We've got another one. Oh, yeah. You know what, if, if I wasn't recording this right now, I would literally be listening to the wonderful soundtrack that the game has, and I would just be sitting there, fishing, whiling away the minutes, maybe maybe even do it for an hour, I don't even know, because, uh, you know, obviously my stamina is going to go down, but this is the kind of thing that I really love about RPGs like this, you can literally just go and do some random, I don't know, random pastime, ra random event or whatever, and it's just incredibly enjoyable and relaxing to do that. And uh, of, of course, you know, you're going to have to deal with those ruffians in the, in, you know, in the tavern at some point. Anyway, here's the guy. Excuse me, are you Wei Huo? What is it? Mr. Wang from the inn told me that you bought a lot of Gaoliang liquor yesterday. So I was wondering if you had any left. If you do, could you sell me two jars? I'll pay whatever price you ask for. I'm not selling any liquor. They're marked for my future Sifu. Uh, wait, I know you. You're the man staying with Master Zhang. What do you want it for? It's a long story. I don't need to hear it. Since you're here, you must have heard about my rules. If you can defeat me in a spar, I'll give you the liquor for free. How's that? Deal. All right, so we can now do observe, and we can see uh, you can boost an NPC's affinity with you by gifting them something they like. He likes weapons and consumables. You can spar with an NPC if their affinity with you reaches 20. There's a chance to get an item from their bag if you win. Right, okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. So if I gift him something, he likes consumables. So in other words, I could give him this, right? Y yeah, gift him that. There we go. We. <laughs> Uh, thanks, he says. He's like, he's like super confused about what I just, what I just gave him right there. Okay, well, that's perfectly fine because we now have this and I can now spar with him immediately and now we can go and do the battle. So let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, I'm actually not entirely sure what my basic cultivation method even does in combat. I'm going to use it. Uh, oh, it gives me back MP. Yeah, that's actually kind of pointless for me right now because I don't need that. Um, but yeah, I guess I will just do this. And I think I'm actually going to be able to beat him pretty simply right here. Because I just generally am faster at preparing my attack. Unless he... I was about to say, unless he does massive damage with his with his polearm. Uh, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. So we are perfectly fine. And boom! Take him down. There we go. Nice and easy. How much? Uh, well, we get some pretty good, pretty good martial points. Not bad. Not bad. No wonder Master Zhang saw something in you. Here is the liquor we agreed on. Thank you. All right. Well, I actually, I want, um, d didn't he, he, he didn't give me more than just one. He gave me, uh, he gave me two. 
I, I mean, surely he gave me two, right? Because we needed we needed two actually. So uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think he did give me two actually. Oh well, never mind. I think that's I think that's fine. Anyway, we're just gonna collect a little bit of ore here because ore is actually pretty good to sell. Master Zhang, I've got the liquor. Good, give it to me. Tastes as good as I remembered. All right, now we've got the second item. Ah, uh, it's not for you. One of them is, the other is for detoxifying. All right, you don't need to know all the details. Just do what I tell you. I have something to do tonight. Go back and rest well for the third item tomorrow. Yes, Master Zhang. All right. I wonder what it is that I need to collect tomorrow. According to Master Zhang, the frost venom in my body should be fully expelled once I collect all the three items. Come to think of it, Master Zhang and Zhao Tong have taken good care of me these days. Oh no, we're apparently having some really, really uh, big issues now. I'm so cold, my limbs are freezing. Yi, ah, what happened? I... <sighs> I feel terrible. The frost venom is probably taking full effect. I I probably can't make it. Not under my watch. Now is the right moment. Here, drink this. Okay. Uh, what is it? It tastes strange. Potions made of the two herbs and the liquor you brought back. So the liquor I got yesterday was for making the potion. That's right. The frosty toad poison condenses the moment it got into your body. Ching Shu's internal energy may be strong, but he could not completely expel the cold chi out of your body. Once you lie in bed or stay still for too long, your meridians will become clogged, gradually resulting in limb stiffness and heart failure. By then, even the greatest physician in the world wouldn't save your life. Well, that's why you had me walking around. It was to help my blood and chi flow. Credit where credit is due. Now that you have drunk the potion, how do you feel? I don't feel so cold anymore, rather warm instead. Sounds about right. The potion is of a hot nature and can make your internal energy surge. You have already struck some meridians. With the help of the potion, your internal energy will push the stagnant cold chi out of your meridians. But to fully expel the poison, you'll still need one last item. I see. Where can I find the last item? Is it some herb as well? No rush. Finish the potion on the table first, and then come see me at the cave behind the village. I will tell you where it is then. Alright, so we're actually going to be exploring the cave. I am very much excited about this, because, you know, we saw the cave earlier on, and I was thinking to myself, yes, I really, really want to know what is in there. I want to do some fighting, you know, see if there are some opponents in there, potentially, that we can fight. Anyway... The potion truly has a strange taste. Phew. Finally finished the potion. I should f hurry and find uh, find those two at the cave. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Let's go ahead and do that. You're so slow, Yi. You're the last to arrive. Huh. You're too fast, Zhao Tong. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> Next time, I'll slow down for you. You missed it since you're late, but Daddy just said the last item was at the end of the cave. In this cave? Yes, but there are snakes dwelling in it, though your internal energy has increased over the last couple of weeks. It's hard to utilize your full power without proper martial art moves. I'll teach you some moves for self-defense. That would be great. Thank you, Master Zhang. Once I have mastered the moves, would I be as powerful as Master Ching Shu and you? <laughs> hmm. And you wish. The process of learning and practicing martial arts is not to be rushed. Your foundation is still weak, so I will teach you some moves for beginners first. Before we begin the lesson, let me give you a general overview of martial arts. Martial arts skills can be categorized into three types. Moves, lightness skills, and cultivation methods. You can view all the skills you have learned under martial arts. And as I've already told you, there are a number of different weapon types as you can see right here. Each weapon type has its own unique moves. Fist is the root of all moves and is generally used to attack a single target. Sword can be used to attack units in a straight line. Saber is used to attack enemies in a column. Polearm is used to attack targets all around you, so massive AoE. And hidden weapons 
are usually used to attack from range. I did get everything. Since I come from Wu Dang's sect, I am more familiar with sword, saber, and fist weapons. I'll teach you the moves of these three weapons today. Oh, you're a member of Wu Dang's sect as well, Master Xiang. Not anymore. All right, no more questions. Now pick a weapon you find handy. All right, so what do we want? Do we want sword, fist weapon, or saber? I think saber. Sounds That sounds fun to me. I like saber quite a bit. So we'll go for that. It is obviously, as you can quite clearly tell, a pretty terrible weapon that we're going to get initially. But that just makes me want to reach for better quality weapons and uh, to become better in the future as well. You know, self-improvement is definitely one of those things that we want to try and aim for. Anyway, your choice today does not affect your ability to learn other martial arts in the future, so you're always free to switch to another one if you change your mind down the road. And that's, again, another one of these wonderful staples in great RPGs. You can just play whatever you want, you know? You're not ever going to be locked in to something. You can literally just choose whatever you want, and it's going to be so much fun to do that. For example, when you have a sword equipped, you'll be able to use sword play moves in a battle. If you want to use, say, saber play moves, you'll have to equip a saber first. Other than that, lightness skills and cultivation methods are not restricted by weapon types. Alright, so we can now actually do something here. So switch skill types on the top, switch, switch weapon types on the left. So in other words, Double click on a skill to deploy or undeploy it. Only deployed skills can be used in battle. And so learning or upgrading any move grants weapon mastery points based on the quality of the move. Move Weapon mastery affects the damage of the weapon and it is the prerequisite to learn certain advanced moves as well. All right, back up and he will demonstrate. Ooh, cool. All right, I'm very much... Yeah, okay, I'm very much excited about this. This is called the Golden Ring Saber Play. The swing of the saber is heavy, but once you start wielding it, it moves like a set of rings, one after another. Did you get that? Yes, what a powerful move. You can't learn by just watching. Now equip the saber and try this move on the dummy. All right. Um, let, me, let me go and equip that. Boom, boom. There we are. Wonderful. And where's the dummy? This thing? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Doesn't seem right. You lack strength and speed. Concentrate and try again. Yes, Master Zhang. Yeah. There we go. That was better. How did I do this time, Master Zhang? Barely acceptable. The dummy does not fight back like a real opponent. Spar with me and try the moves you just learned. Oh no, he's got over 9,000 in HP. What do you bet? Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So I have a special move, as you can see right here, which um, actually is pretty cool. There's a 25% chance to ignore and break the target's defense. And we also have just the standard here, which can deal damage to units within three grids in a horizontal line in front of the caster. So we have to be very close to be able to use it. Oh my, okay, I should not have gone in a straight line. Let's just go here, and then we will attack him. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no way I'm going to be able to defeat Master Zhang, not in a million years. I might be able to use my special move. There we go, I used my special move at least, but there is no way I will be able to defeat him. Uh, I don't know whether we're supposed to get defeated, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it seems like that was supposed to happen. Well, there's been some progress this time. Just like cultivation methods, you have to keep upgrading your moves to improve their power. Remember I, what I taught you? You earn martial points by fighting or sparring with people. Now open martial arts and upgrade the move you just learned with the martial points you earned. All right, so how, mu how many did I actually get? Oh, we got a, a pretty decent amount. Okay, so we can upgrade this or we can upgrade this. I'm going to upgrade the, the standard skill, I suppose. Don't have enough martial points to upgrade the rest, unfortunately, but there we go. And we can also... Ah, we also have Gold Saber Slash. I didn't even realize that we had this as well. Okay, that's going to be really, really useful for us. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. Okay, fantastic. Well done. You've probably realized that learning or upgrading a move increases the corresponding weapon mastery. Do not look down on weapon mastery. For the higher the mastery, the more powerful the moves of this weapon type will be. Also, some powerful moves require certain levels of weapon mastery to learn. 
Now the moves you have learned are more than enough to deal with the snakes. And just go. Find the last item at the end of the snakes. Come see me once you've got it. Alright, I'm super excited about this. Let's go in and fight some snakeies. Here we go. There are indeed a lot of snakes in this cave. Well, I get to try my new moves on them. Here we go. Alright, so this is actually the main reason why I wanted to use Saber. Because obviously, if you remember what Master Jiang actually told us, Sword can only attack in a straight line, and otherwise he was offering me fist weapons. I think fist weapons are also uh, single target based, so what I wanted to mostly go for is AoE, but in a cleave sense. So for example, you can see here that I can literally attack like so, and then we can actually just eliminate every single one of the snakes in one hit, and we don't have to use multiple attacks to be able to do that. So that's the main reason why I was kind of focusing on, on the, you know, the Saber. Because, I mean, just see how much damage we can actually do here. We just eliminate them so incredibly quickly and easily. It's really, really nice. The reason why I wanted to use the Saber, as I said. We can collect some of these things. And I'm actually not entirely sure where to go. There's a chest here. Oh, okay, hello. This might be... This, oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so this snake has a lot more HP, as you can see. So that might be a bit problematic. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to be a bit sneaky here. I'm going to let the snakes move first, because I'm going to wholeheartedly assume that they don't have enough movement speed. No. As you can see, they don't have enough movement speed. So I'm actually just going to move back here like this. And then we're literally just going to hold position, wait for the snakes to move. There we go. Yes, okay, that's absolutely perfect. Um, technically, we can attack like here, or we can attack here. I would have liked to have attacked both of these at the same time, but this is actually fine because this particular enemy is pretty harsh. So I'd like to eliminate it, first of all. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get the opportunity to move. No, we didn't, but that's absolutely fine. It's only going to deal very little damage to us. And as you can see, we can just finish off the last two snakes. We were just trying to be... I was trying to be a little bit more careful here, you know, just a little bit more careful. All right, so I actually did advance. So let me see what I can do. We're going to actually level. Uh, might as well just level this up a little bit more. There we go. And we also have this that we can get. And we can get this. There we go. And we also have a giant wood pill. The pill is imbued with the essence of uh, wood of the five phases. Consume it to permanently increase defense. Aha! All right, that's actually going to be really useful, or at least I think so. Maybe I should just use it straight away. I, I don't even know. Anyway, this is going to be super simple. Nice. We've got more martial points for that as well. But this is the kind of game that really makes me want to explore every single, you know, every single little corner and nook and cranny. And I literally just want to go everywhere and do everything. And that's what I mean about finding these little secrets and things like that. I, I'm, I'm not even talking about the chest that we just we just looted, but I'm talking about things like sparring with people, going fishing, uh, fighting things, gaining power by, you know, leveling up your martial points, and so on. It really makes a huge difference to the overall enjoyment of the game, in my opinion. So, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to continue to do some damage this time. I'm actually going to do a little... I'm going to be a bit more audacious this time around. And I'm going to see how much damage... Okay, this guy actually does a pretty pretty hefty chunk. Pretty hefty chunk. So I'm just going to eliminate this fellow first. And then we can actually hopefully use the R special move against this guy. Maybe almost eliminate him. Oh, I really wish I had faster energy region. That would have helped out a great deal. But it's fine. There we go. But as you can see, me playing more cautiously before did actually give me back more HP, or at the very least, it saved me from taking more uh, more damage. And you can see now that we're actually not doing too well on HP, and we're going to be... Fa oh, this is a... That's a big snake. That is a, that is a hard one, I think. That is a hard one. Okay. So, let me actually just see here real quick. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to upgrade that, going to upgrade that. Just going to make sure that we have upgrades across the board, basically. Don't really want to leave one thing behind. Now we can do damage here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing, I guess. We're just gonna continue attacking. And are we poisoned? Is that poison right there? I think we might be poisoned. Yeah, I think that. I think that is indeed poison. That is not good. Hopefully that doesn't persist through the battle. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm actually wondering, is there any way that I can restore HP? Mm. Mm, no, I don't think so. I, I can actually... I mean, I can use this. Yeah, I mean, it, as you can see, giant wood pill is precious. Please think carefully. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it because I kind of need the defense right now, I think. I mean, I'm I'm having some issues actually surviving. Um, let me just get around here. What is this? Consume it to permanently increase attack. Yeah, I mean, really, that's going to be super useful for us as well. So I'm actually going to do that too. There we go. And there's a snake here that we can attack. Okay, so this is... Hmm... Maybe, oh yeah, you know what? I should have just run away, shouldn't I? I should have just run away like I did before. Okay, we'll just attack here. And I'm just going to ta tackle the uh, the most powerful one, I suppose. You know, I'd really love to be using a polearm at this point, because the polearm is obviously going to be um, AoE, like big AoE damage. But there you go, we were able to achieve a victory here. I'm... I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of worried right now. I'm kind of worried that we're going to die. Wait a minute. So let me actually just have a look, see here. If I, can, can I not use this? No, I can't use this. I can use this. Ah, here we go. This is the thing that actually gives me uh, HP. I already gave away uh, one of these to that guy so that I could actually spar with him, but I needed to be able to do that for the quest. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that was necessary. That was a necessary evil right there. Anyway, let me just move forward. Yes. Yeah, this is perfect. The snakes are moving into the perfect position for us. And there we have it. Wonderful. All right. So, martial points. Massive amounts of martial points in actual fact, too. And that means I can actually upgrade our basic sword play a little bit more. And I think we have... Oh, is it, this is a boss, isn't it? What do you bet? Huh, there's something on the ground. It looks like a snake egg? It's huge. It must be the third item Master Jiang told me about. Got it. I should hurry up and bring it back to Master Jiang. Oh, yeah. It's a boss. Hello. Okay, that is not... Uh, okay, okay, hello. Okay, be careful. Calm down, calm down, M Mr. Crimson Cobra. This is going to be very damn... Oh, this is going to be bad. Where did this giant snake crawl out from? Okay, yeah, that hurt. Am I... Oh, yeah, I do have to fight this thing. All right, so here we go. This is going to be really, really interesting. Not sure if I'm even going to be able to do anything here, but... Let's just hope that the... Yes. Okay, that's absolutely perfect. Look at how they moved right now. Absolutely wonderful how they moved like that. This guy literally didn't take any damage. Okay. He avoided the first attack by the looks of things. King Cobra's Bite. Okay, that did good damage, but nothing to write home about. And he's going to die next turn. Boom. There we go. All right, that was not as bad as I thought, but <laughs> still pretty harsh. Let's just say that. Still pretty harsh. Okay, there we go. We were able to achieve victory. Phew, finally got rid of it. Ugh, I feel so hot. It's like I'm burning up. It must be the snake bite. Maybe that is actually the, the third item that uh, Master Jiang wanted us to get. Maybe he wanted us to get bitten by this thing. What's happening? I feel cold. Oh, no. Okay, never mind, never mind. My, my, my theory was absolutely incorrect. His limbs are freezing. The frost venom in my body hasn't come off yet. Now there's also the snake venom. This time, <laughs> I'm probably going to die here. Oh, Master Jiang just dropped in. No, not going to happen. I'm not going to let you die just like that. Master Jiang, what are you doing here? I'll explain later. Relax your body, sit down and cross your legs. Okay. 
Good, now try to compose yourself and regulate your chi. Use your chi to guide the two venoms in your body to your danshan. Don't worry, I'll help you. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go, we got a collaborative, meditative state right here. And I think, I think we might be okay. Phew, much better. I don't feel cold nor hot. My entire body feels relaxed now. Good, this means the frosty toad venom is gone and you are fine now. Huh? It's gone? But I haven't used the snake egg yet. I didn't say the snake egg was the last item, did I? The third item is the venom... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I called it. I called it. Yep. The venom. That's right, the frost venom in your body is the coldest in nature, while the King Crimson Cobra's venom is the hottest. The two are mutually exclusive. As long as they coexist in your body, I can turn them against each other using the Five Immortals Mental Sutra and get rid of both of them in the progress, or in the process even. Now I understand why you insisted that I enter the cave by myself. Thank you so much, Master Zhang, for going through all this trouble to save my life. I will never forget it. No need for that, I only saved you because I promised Ching Shu. I had to channel some of my internal energy. Let me rest for a moment, then we can be on our way. Sure, don't worry Master Zhang, I will stand guard for you. And that's when these ruffians come in, what are you- Oh, I knew, I knew that, I knew they were going to turn up sometime. Ah, oh, we need to, oh, we need to punch these guys up. We certainly do. Alright, Zhang Yinfen. You bastard, finally caught you. Hmm, great, now that you don't have your full strength, you will die here today. Die here today? Who are you? Why do you want to harm Master Zhang? Huh, <laughs> what did you just call him? Master? Huh, <laughs> master my ass. That bastard defected from Wudang sect and killed a bunch of people from various sects. He is an out of control madman. Nonsense, Master Zhang would never murder the innocent. Believe it or not, we're all here to enact justice today. Get out of our way and we may let you live, considering you showed us out the way. What? I, sh I showed you the way? What do you mean? You still don't get it? We're here thanks to Ching Shu being in a rush to save you. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to follow him all the way here without being noticed. Heh. <laughs> Never expected the mighty Ching Feng Sword of Wu Dang to be hiding in this village like a coward. I was the one who exposed Master Zhang's whereabouts. Yeah, I was wondering who you might be. Turns out it's you, losers. What, are you here to get your remaining arm chopped off as well, Chin Li? Still acting tough before your demise, huh? Were it not for Ching Shu, who got in our way that year, we would have killed both you and the chick from Wushan sect. But better late than never. I'm gonna kill you today for the arm I lost. And avenge the 13 lives from Tian Xing, uh, Tian, Tian Jin, ah. Yeah, again, apologies, my pronunciation is not the best, okay? Uh, it's probably the worst in actual fact, anyway. Um, yes, hmm. Avenge? What a joke! You were all responsible for what happened to Yoon. Since you're all here today, I'll send you to hell together. Alright, here we go. So that means, in my opinion, we're gonna be going in to a battle with Master Xiang. Or we're going to actually be defending him. Are we actually going in by... Yes, we're going in to defend him. Okay. These people are very powerful, brat. You are no match for them. Store them for two turns for me so I can recover. Remember, do not go head to head with them. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Protect him until he finishes composing himself and all or all enemies are defeated. Okay. So how do I store them? I'm actually not entirely sure, to be honest. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, that was some damage. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just going to move back like so. I can only hope that Master Zhang is almost ready. Yes, he is almost ready. Okay, I just literally got murdered. But that's fine, because Master Zhang is now ready. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious how I was literally the sacrificial lamb right there. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's do some damage. And uh, hopefully we're going to be fine to actually win this without... Um, well, I, I don't think my other character can actually do too much against these guys, to be honest. 
and Master Jiang seems to be extremely powerful, as you can see. So uh, let's do some damage to this guy. Whoa, look at that damage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's more than powerful enough to be able to deal with them. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, look at that damage. Okay, that is uh, that is pretty incredible. Yeah. Apparently, sword is pretty fun. I don't know. Sword seems pretty fun to me. Maybe I should have gone for swords, but I, I kind of like the saber, to be honest. I think the saber's still pretty awesome. But uh, you can see just how crazy the abilities are that you're going to be able to find in the game. And uh, as they said, you can actually change at any time. You know, you don't have to stay with any particular ability or skill or anything. You can literally just choose whatever you'd like. Anyway, we're just going to finish this guy off. And there we go. How many martial points did we get? Wow, significant amount. And we're getting an... Oh, we're getting an amazing saber. Look at that. We're getting a really, really good saber. We're getting a hidden weapon and a headgear. But yeah, uh, I mean, to, to be fair, this obviously isn't a really good saber but in comparison to what i'm currently using it is amazingly good anyway damn it zhang yin feng is even stronger than he was 10 years ago had he not used up most of his chi he would have killed us three yeah <sighs> no worries we've stalled him long enough stalled what exactly are you planning ah let go of me let go of your baddies zhao tong <laughs> Sounds like our allies outside the cave have snatched the girl. It's true that we're no match for you, Jiang Jianfeng, but it doesn't matter, does it? If you want to save your daughter, come out and face your fate. Heh, <laughs> we'll meet you outside the cave. Alright, wow. Okay. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to dish out some justice right here, but I I don't think he's actually up to the task right now. I think he is weakened. Uh yeah, he's he's actually been wounded as well. It's okay. Zhao Tong is in danger. We got to get out now. All right. Let's see exactly what happens. And we're going to be, as you can see, um, joining a party with him. He's actually going to need to help me out right here because I'm really low in HP. But we're going to make our way out and we're going to see what happens. But what I would highly recommend you do is add this to your Steam wish list. It is extremely cool. I am very much enjoying myself and I think you will too. There's a link in the description to do that. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.